Hi, Simon here and welcome to the amazing Love Claw bonus. On this page you're going to see all the fantastic bonuses that myself and my good friend Andy Black are offering when you buy Chris Munch's Love Claw through our link below. Love Claw is an amazing software and in a second I'm going to hand over to Andy and he is going to tell you all about it. So take a look at this page there to have a look at all our amazing bonuses as I hand you over to the one and only Mr Andy Black. Thanks for that Simon. Right guys, now for a quick overview of the uh, Love Claw plugin. Um, so I'm going to show you what it does, um, explain the benefits to you and also give you a sneak peek at the admin behind the scenes so you can see the features and options that you have with this plugin. So this is a blog post of mine and um, what I've done is I've just inserted uh, using a short code um, the actual plugin here. So this is a Love Claw plugin right between content on my blog post. Now, if you look to the left-hand side, you will see a question here, what do you think? So when people have read my blog post, presenting them with a list of options underneath. Um, and this question here is a custom question, so I can put anything that I want here. And if you have a plugin, you can do the same too. But I've used what do you think? Because people love to respond to uh, questions, especially if it's as simple as a, a click of a mouse, okay? So what do you think? Um, now, the beauty of this plugin is it's basically like the Facebook um, like button, share button. Um, but people click the, the like button if they really like a, a post and if they want to support you or your blog um, and they like the content that you've shared. Okay, what this plugin does is um, it allows you to add um, a number of buttons here. Okay, and each of these buttons will do the same thing. Essentially, it will um, if someone clicks it, it will sh they will be sharing it on Facebook. So it doesn't matter what button they click, they're going to be sharing your content. Now, during tests, this plugin has been proven to um, generate three and a half times more likes and more shares than the Facebook like button. So you're talking a massive, massive increase by using the Love Claw plugin instead of a standard traditional Facebook like button. Okay. Now, the good thing is, is all of these are customizable. Um, the standard default settings is I love it, I hate it, interesting, shocking, I don't care. You can change these to anything you want. So if you've got a blog post that is specific to a particular subject or a, a niche, then what you can do is you can customize these to best fit in with your particular um, topic. Okay. Um, so... When someone clicks on this, it will share it on their Facebook, and then what that will do, it will create massive exposure. So um, people are more likely then to uh, click through from Facebook uh, and see what your blog post is about if they're interested. And it will also increase your social signals, which again is good for ranking, is good for everything, okay? It's good social proof um, for your content. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head over um, to the um, actual admin side of it. On my blog here um, so this is the uh, plugin in my admin I'm just going to go through some of the options to give you an idea of um, what you can do with it and how you can customize it so at the top we've got the license key information so that's where you, you simply activate your plugin and um, we've got button type here okay these are plain text buttons this is what I have used on um, this blog post here um, and basically you'll notice a text field at the top here. Now this is where you've got these options. Um, I love it, I hate it, interesting, shocking, I don't care. They're all uh, comma separated. Uh, you can change these to what you want. You can have whatever options you want on here. Um, I've just kept it the same just for the purpose of this review video. Um, but it, you can customize it to what you want. Okay, underneath we've got button style. Um, you can change various different colors. Um, if you've got a green theme and you want to um, color code it to your theme, you can use one of these colors here. Um, if you want it to look a bit more like a Facebook like button, then you can select this one. Um, but I've just, I just use this light blue one here because it's nice and bright and it stands out. Um, if we look underneath here, you can have custom, I uh, think, image sets, okay? Um, button sizes, um, this is a medium size that you can see on here. Um, what you can do here, if you want smaller buttons, you can do that. If you want larger buttons, you can select that also. Um, if you want to use custom buttons, then what you can do is you design your, your buttons um, and you can put your custom messages in here and then also the URLs um, for, to match each of these. Um, and then it will send um, each particular message, whichever one they click on, to um, the social site in question. Okay. 
show message count um, I've only just added this a few minutes ago um, hence why and this is a an older blog post that I sent that I created a, a week or two ago um, but basically if you want um, to make it public who has liked which button um, so if there was 10 people who selected I love it and um, three people interesting and two people I hate it then um, you can select this option on and it will display these stats okay if you don't want to show these stats then simply just de select that checkbox there underneath show most popular message um, again if uh, the majority of people have loved your post um, or find it interesting uh, then you can uh, choose to show this here and what it'll do is uh, it'll say something like our readers say I love it our readers say interesting again all you do is select the option if you want the option on okay um, and then there's a header text here as well so this where it says our readers say here you can you can put what you want here okay um, again what I was talking about here um, which is the text before the buttons I've used what do you think um, because I think that encourages uh, users and readers on your site to actually take action and, and select an option. You're basically asking them to, to uh, click a button, uh, which is going to share your content on their Facebook. Um, you can put what you want on here. You can see this is the option here. So this leads in with an arrow and points of the buttons. You can put Facebook it or um, um, what's your opinion, what's your take. You can, you can put what you want there. Um, if we go down here, you can exclude specific pages and posts. So if there's a, a post or a page that you don't want to have this plugin um, on, then um, you can um, enter the details there and it will prevent that from activating and being active on that particular page or post. Um, auto insert here. Um, you can choose to have it automatically insert up the top of your post or up the bottom. Um, but what I've done here is I just selected this option here, which means I do it manually. All I do is I take that short code and copy and paste that basically within the content where I want the plugin to appear. So that's just a quick overview of uh, the plugin. So this plugin goes live again on the uh, 9th, um, which is tomorrow. Uh, depends when you're watching this video, but it's uh, the 9th, uh, which is a Tuesday. And it goes live at 11 a.m. Eastern time. If you're one on, if you're a subscriber of myself or Simon, you'll receive an email just as it goes live. So keep an eye out for your email. If you've found this bonus page um, by someone else's Facebook wall or by googling it, then simply just come back 11 a.m. Eastern time, and you will see the uh, link on this page where you will be able to get all of the bonuses um, that are listed on this page, as well as a Love Claw plugin. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.